Hi, my name is Charles Mason, and I teach the Basic Digital Photography online class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Today I wanted to share with you just a couple examples of things we learn in that class. These are the two techniques of motion and point of view. This first slide, which I made from a small helicopter at a reindeer corral out in Nome, Alaska, has both techniques in it, actually. I'm up high looking down at about 1,400 reindeer after they've been brought into the corral for an overnight handling. The high angle is my point of view technique here because it lets me look at the world differently from the five feet or so in the air that our eyes are usually accustomed to seeing things from. The um, technique flattens things out in, it, in the shape of the reindeer circle, which they get into just biologically when they're nervous makes our minds and I puzzle through this picture and try to figure out, was it a fingerprint or a school of fish? Oh, those look like reindeer. And then you can kind of put it together that it's a corral and shot from an aerial point of view. These reindeer, when they're um, in corral, actually keep in pretty constant motion and they run. The outside ones run at a pretty good clip. Because I'm in a small aircraft, and in particular a helicopter, I'm already using a high shutter speed, probably about a 500th of a second here, maybe one 1,000th. And that is to counteract the motion of the aircraft, but here it also freezes the reindeer as they run around the corral and makes them look as if they're just standing there. When I got on the ground, I made this image, which also uses a high shutter speed to, to freeze the reindeer in motion. These motion techniques allow us to imply motion either by freezing it or by letting it blur in an image or panning an image with something that's moving to create that sense of movement in a two-dimensional piece of paper or an image on a screen that would otherwise be hard to, uh, to show. A high shutter speed lets your eye roam over a picture for a while and study things that you could never see if you were standing there. For instance, here the hooves are frozen in the air and everything is just sharp and and uh, literally pulled out, of, like a frame of film pulled out of a movie. This next picture shows, conversely, that I, I wanted to convey that the animals are in motion. They're not just standing still. If I'd used a higher shutter speed, I might have made it look like the first picture where they're just standing in a circle. But by pushing my camera through the boards of the corral and bracing really hard, if I'd had a tripod with me, that would have worked even better. I can go to a slow shutter speed, much slower than I would normally try to handhold for fear of shaking the camera. And in this case, it was probably an eighth or a quarter, maybe even a quarter of a second. And let the animals move, or whatever motion I want to occur in the frame, move through it. Could be a kid running, a bicycle going by, a car going by, any kind of motion. And that blur implies the movement in the image. And here lets you see that they are... Um, moving. Interesting, the ones that are closest to me are, of course, moving fastest relative to my position and across my position. The ones sort of in the middle ground where they're facing me are not moving that quickly relative to where I am, so they don't blur as much. This next picture is more of a point of view photograph. It's using a, a layer technique in photography where you shoot through something. It could be through um, hanging beads or you know leaves in a tree and then there's a background. In this case, I'm using the corral to shoot both into the corral and out of it all at once. It's a nice technique because, it, again, it lets the viewer kind of puzzle through the picture and they get a reward at the end once they find the reindeer and they've sort of sorted out the space that seems uh, a little chaotic when first viewed. Finally, this last picture is another high shutter speed image, and it's um, made by pushing uh, the camera with a very wide angle lens through the boards, but using a high shutter speed again, probably a 500th of a second again, here. And I got very lucky. I made a bunch of frames. I'm not actually looking through the viewfinder here. I'm just doing a Hail Mary. And that reindeer's nose is actually touching the very edge of my negative, giving me a flying reindeer kind of photograph. Well, thanks for looking at the slideshow. I'd be happy to uh, see you in my online class someday.